She deserves a statue. If she were a man, she'd have hundreds of statues up to her. Three, two, one. This is the first statue of a woman in Parliament Square in London. Her name is Millicent Fawcett, and she campaigned for six decades for women to have the right to vote. It's also the first statue made by a woman in the square, and that's thanks to Turner Prize winning artist Gillian Waring. Less than 3% of statues in the UK are of historical non-royal women. It's been a long campaign to change that. Yeah, that's a woman. Is it there? Yeah. It's just a joke. But if I'm being honest, when we started this piece, I didn't know who Melissa Fawcett actually was. And what did you study at uni? <laughs> History? Anyway. I know all about Melissa Fawcett now. She was born in Suffolk in 1847 and she got into the suffrage movement through her older sister Elizabeth. Elizabeth took her younger sister to see the philosopher John Stuart Mill give a speech on women's rights. That's when Millicent Fawcett joined the cause. She'd go on to campaign as a suffragist and not a suffragette. The suffragists are more into non-violent means, so lobbying MPs, petitions, that kind of thing. The suffragettes later broke off from this group because they wanted to use more militant tactics. So they disrupted meetings, they rioted, they went on hunger strike. But the two groups did work alongside each other. After decades of campaigning, the right to vote was extended to some women in 1918. By 1928, all women over the age of 21 had the right to vote. Millicent Fawcett died a year later. Today, her image is being used to write a different kind of inequality. So tell me how this whole campaign came about. So it was International Women's Day 2016. I went for a run and my run took me through Parliament Square, ran past David Lloyd George ran past a guy I'd never heard of called Jan Smuts and I suddenly thought hang on a minute are all the statues in here of men so I went round and I checked every single statue no one had done anything it really was all men it's a little bit like the Monopoly guy eh? <laughs> oh my god that's exactly what he looks like here all week why Millicent Fawcett out of all the women that you've have chosen she deserves a statue. If she were a man, she'd have hundreds of statues up to her. I wanted it to be of a statue of a woman who we didn't already know about, a woman who didn't already have a statue. Emmeline Pankhurst already has her own statue, in fact, just around the corner in Victoria Tower Gardens. But the thing I really like about Gillian Waring's design, actually, is that 